About a month ago, we released the beta version of the Drag and Drop card for Home Assistant. The Drag and Drop card simplifies the work, look, and feel that goes into building a great dashboard for your smart home and puts you in total and complete control over the user experience. Since its initial beta release, we have been hard at work adding more features to the card, some of which we are going to showcase today. Like the possibility of having an animated background. You also have the option of selecting particle effects or just a plain background image if you'd like that instead. Native support for built-in tabs are also added. In addition to this, we have also added a built-in screensaver. Built-in kiosk mode, making it possible to hide the native Home Assistant header and sidebar when the drag-and-drop card is in normal operation. Password protection for entering edit mode, and styling options for your dashboard directly in its settings. And of course, all settings can be changed directly from the card zone settings page. No YAML required. Now, we know it can be difficult to create multiple dashboards for different devices. So we have also added a dynamic scaling option that will try and scale your dashboards according to the screen size. Do note that this might have some unwanted results based on the amount of scaling required. Lastly, we have improved the way you add cards to the dashboard. All you have to do now is to enter edit mode by double-clicking on the dashboard, drag across the area of the grid you want to populate with a card, and let go. This opens the card picker, and you can then add your selected card. Your selected card will then occupy the space you selected. The drag and drop card, how dashboards should be.